In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to add fog in your Blender scene. Fog, or some of you may actually call it haze, is one of those things that I almost use it every time I create a scene in Blender. And it's one of those techniques that truly takes your creation to a whole new cinematic level. Now, I know cinematic as a word has been thrown a lot, but one of the main characteristics of cinema is depth. And not gonna lie, I had a hard time to pronounce this word depth i hope i'm pronouncing it right anyhow adding fog is probably one of the best way to separate your main object from your foreground and the background that way you'll be able to create incredible depth within your scene so without further ado guys let's get to the fun part this video is sponsored by my new fog pack simply drag and drop any types of fog more on that later all right guys so as you can see here we have a pretty simple scene we have a character car and some hills so we can see some depth through these hills now the best and easiest way to create a fog is to start by creating a cube and then just scale it and then just make it bigger the point here is to pretty much cover all the elements that you're going to be seeing in the render viewport so make sure that the ground and a little bit of the higher elements here are covered and from here what i like to usually do is just to go to object properties and here you have visibility and then just change the uh sorry viewport display and just change the texture to wire that way you can only see the wire of this mesh and you can see what's happening inside and you can easily go through it. All right. Now, once that is done, create a new material and make sure to delete the principal DSDF by pressing X and then shift A, create a new principal volume. Here, once you have it, make sure to link it with volume and then just decrease the density to summer 0.02 just to see what's going on as you can see this is already a quite good result now up to this point pretty much almost everyone knows how to do this but uh there's a tricky part about emission here that you might not have considered now if we go here to world and bring down the strength of our color background i'm just gonna add 0.01 emission Maybe that's a bit too much, so I'm just going to add two zero. And here, as you can see, you can add any color to your fog. So depending on which color, I think the density is a bit too much. Yeah. All right. Now, as you can see, this is before, after, before, after. So I just made sure that the density is 0.001 and the emission is 0.001 pretty much you have full control over this volumetric now on the other hand you might be wondering what is going on here basically this is my asset library and i've designed a pack called fog pack and here you have like 10 different fogs with different styles and colors so if i go ahead and just delete this you can just literally drag and drop and you will have similar result for example here you have big size light blue less saturated blue here you have neutral color and here you have a big orange kind of blade runner kind of uh, vibes let's go ahead quickly bring back the strength of the color uh, make sure it's around kind of mid gray here uh, and you can easily uh, add these medium size ones and you can see the result here uh, you can also go with with the sun uh, you can play with the sun so if you here you can add a sun direct the sun to where you want and it fits quite well with the haze you have here now let's go ahead add another one this one is a bit high intensity so you can just bring down the density if you want to another one here we have the medium size blue gives you more of a bluish look here you have another one that is quite interesting which is 
called Textury Haze. This one is orange and uh, here are all the nods that I made. The best way to play around, now obviously this might not be the perfect result. You just have to play around with rotation to the Y axis and as well as the Z axis until you are happy with a result. Now I am think this is quite good. You can also bring down the strength of the background to see full details here and you can do the same thing here um, i've already done result with the blue one here and last but not least you have a textury neutral one as i said you will come back here play around until you're happy with the result now the great thing about this textury haze is gives you a quite realistic look um, here you, you also have color ramp to play around the density of the contrast between white and black now if you want to go ahead and save some time for yourself and make your life a bit easier then i definitely encourage you to check out my fog pack it's super simple to use all you need is to create a folder put the blender file in and then go to edit reference and here go to file path and then here asset library and as you can see these are all my assets in my asset library i highly encourage you to learn about the asset library if you don't know what it is all you need to do is just go to plus button and just direct the folder that you put the blender file in rename it however you want and then make sure to save the preference and once you come here here you have asset browser and then you have all these uh, obviously you just have the, you will have fog back and then you just need to basically drag and drop and you are good to go guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm trying to build my channel again <laughs> feels like i'm starting from scratch and i am treating it that way uh, but i would highly appreciate it if you like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't make sure to follow me on all of my social media as well and i'll see you guys in the next one